All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I keep it in the refrigerator so it stays fresh longer. <laughs> so, someone got mad at me one time because I carried my gas through my house because uh, oh, it's dangerous. Gasoline. No, I don't keep it in my fridge. What I don't do, you can see over here, I don't open up my garage doors until I have to. And it's not time to open garage doors. Look at all the snow, kids. Let's measure this. I just happened to have brought a, uh, a tape measure with me. Now, they, they said we we're gonna get about eight inches of snow, seven inches. Let's see what we got here. That is uh, just shy of 12 and a half inches of snow there, kids. That is over a foot. Now, I'm not saying that the weatherman doesn't know what he's doing, but uh, I'm not impressed. So I did tackle this last night with the, uh, with the mule. There was about five on the ground and I spent ooh, a bunch of hours out here moving snow. Didn't do a perfect job, but I just had a feeling we were gonna get, I was looking at the storm duration and there was a lot more storm coming. And uh, I was like, no, I'm gonna do this in two sweeps. The problem I'm gonna have is if we get any more snow this winter, I'm gonna run out of places. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the, the snow blower and blow this pad off. Plus, I know the internet loves snowboard content, so let's see what we can do here. We'll film all the old junk. How's that sound? I know everyone's interested in the old, yeah, and the, yeah, so we're going to do it from this way. Because why not? Uh, I, brought, I brought that. Oh, God. No ethanol. I live in a corn state, but I don't put corn in my car. No vent. Sorry for the, uh, I'd fast forward this, but I don't fast forward. So we'll just talk about the fun things in life. Well, that is glacial slow, isn't it? Hold oh, please. Put a glove on. I need to take measure there. So yeah, and we're gonna get like five more inches uh, a couple days I think we didn't get much snow last year so it's gonna get really cold too it's not very cold out right now but the temperature is gonna drop we're gonna be in the single digits here shortly so yeah snowblower content on the internet never would have thought it'd be a big a big uh, a big thing but people love it so I mean, I'm sorry for this part if, if you're here just for the action I'm not, I'm not just showing the action. I'm gonna get close. I'm gonna talk about this funnel here in a second. It's actually a snow scraper. That's what they're, that's what they're, they're uh, marketed as. That's probably gonna be enough for now. This is marketed as a snow scraper. Uh, you'd obviously snow scraper it the other way, but since I'm not snow scrapering, I found out it works as a really good funnel. <laughs> I think it doubles as a funnel too for where they, what do they say? Putting your uh, windshield wiper fluid in your windshield wiper fluid reservoir. And uh, it actually, it actually does do that. All right, so someone actually commented the other day, it's nice to watch a video of a guy who knows what he's doing. Well, <laughs> hold, hold please. So one thing I know you have to do is you gotta turn the fuel on. Off, well, I apparently left it on. So that's fine, fuel's open, that's, that's good. There's actually instructions right here. It says, uh, turn the choke to run, let's do that. Start, run, uh, turn the key to run, that's important. Turn the fuel on, that's important. Three times on the old pumper pumper. We need more than three. So it's not a electric start, but I've, I've kind of, it just, I did check the oil, calm down, fresh oil, calm, calm down. Set it like right here and uh, see what happens, right?
I'm not sure what I'm getting on video here. Let's go with uh, let's go back. more interesting. Uh, let's try this angle out here. What's the worst that can happen? Try to tilt it up so it can actually... Yeah, let's try that.
that is just like full sand to outer space. Let me see if I get this thing. Full, please. I'm gonna do the patio in a second video. Uh, pretty good unit. I had somebody watch a video of this thing shooting uh, really heavy snow. And they were kind of questioning whether it was thrown far enough. So my experience with this machine is I've never used a snowblower to throw snow this far. In the videos where it's heavy wet, a normal snowblower, it'd be coming out and going <laughs> about that far. You get about two feet. This thing still whips it. Now they make a super high output model. I can't imagine how far that would go. I did the math. I needed to go off that cliff and this thing throws it that far. So that's all I needed. So it's hard to tell, but like, it's all bank on that side. It's all bank on this side, building here, building up there. So all the snow from the whole driveway has to leave down this edge and out that way. Super challenging. It's all gravel, a couple hundred feet of gravel, a pad here, a pad up there in a patio area. Patio area is, hasn't been touched. I'm gonna to blow that in a separate video. All this has been plowed once, but not quite half, a little less than half, so. Yeah, there we go. Aaron's Deluxe 24. I think he's a beast. <laughs> I can't believe I'm making snowblower, snowblower videos still. People love them. All right, stay safe.